Hi guys, it's your truth doctor, Maureen Mara. Thank you for staying tuned in this channel. All we do is talk matters or health and our current uh, topic of discussion has been dental fluorosis. In our previous video, we got to understand what is dental fluorosis and I remember I gave you tips on how it comes about and the age limit which usually one is likely to get the dental fluorosis. Nataka mnielewe vizuri. If you are an adult with uh, normal teeth, you should not be worried about dental fluorosis. Not unless you have children who are uh, maybe between age zero to around 80 years of age. And then, kuna yule ambali niuliza kwa nini kuna fluoride kwa toothpaste and yet we recommend you guys to brush with it. Here is the thing. Ideally, um, there's a normal range of fluoride, which is 0 0.5 to 1.5 parts per million. And I'm sure in uh, those uh, companies manufacturing this toothpaste thing, they have that in mind. And the fluoride in the toothpaste, it is basically meant to act as um, topical fluoride. This does not get into the system. It is meant to act within the tooth structure to prevent one from getting the cavities. But excess consumption of it, it becomes lethal. So if you have children, they are there brushing. Remember wakati mtu ana brush meno, they are allowed to spit the excess and rinse their mouth. Either these kids will be eating the toothpaste, yes, and I mean eating, or swallowing the, the foam. If this process happens over a long period of time, it is when the fluoride becomes evident on your teeth. Another thing for pregnant mothers, one is likely to subject their developing features to dental fluorosis because fluoride ion is capable to pass through the umbilical cord and get into the child. Remember, menosam total, they start developing at six weeks uh, when the mother is pregnant. I mean, um, mtoto, ma, when the mother is pregnant, at six weeks is when the teeth start to develop. So if the mother takes uh, water or foods that are high in fluoride, wakati menoza huyu mtoto zitakuwa zinatoka. They will come when um, ziko discolored. Another thing that can uh, cause this fluorosis is um, the baby formulas, especially the important, imported ones. So you really have to be cautious about the composition of any formula that you are feeding on your baby. For your information today is buying drinking water does not prevent you from getting dental fluorosis. Kwa sababu, you will be consuming this um, water for drinking, but then the water that is running through your taps is what you use to cook your foods with, is what you wash your vegetable with, is what you wash your fruits with. So if that happens over a long period of time, you are likely going to get um, dental fluorosis. That is it for today. Thank you for staying tuned. We meet again in our next video, whereby I will be telling you about the different severities of dental fluorosis and how to manage it. Bye. Thank you.